What's up everyone, Aaron Schatz here, Editor-in-Chief of AC Publishing, and today, it's always today, we've got another review for you. This time, it's the Works Semi-Automatic Driver, this guy right here. This is review ID 59139, you can check out this in all our reviews by going to www.aclabs.com. You're also watching this on YouTube right now, I bet, right? You're watching this on YouTube right now, there's a subscribe button right below here. You can hit that, be informed of all the content we post. All we post these days, videos. They're all that we post. So if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be informed of all the content as we post. However, if you actually want to read some text, you can go to ASC Labs. We have text summaries of all the reviews we do. Also, if you don't have time to watch these full reviews, because generally they're pretty long, you can check out the one-minute reviews. There's a playlist I'll link below in the description. You can check out the one-minute review of this and all the reviews that we post. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into this review. Let's take a look at the Works Semi-Automatic Driver. The model is WX255L, and there is two models basically. One that comes with this screw holder right here, which I'll show you in a little bit, and then one that doesn't. And I suggest getting the screw holder because it's actually pretty useful for the intended use of this. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a automatic screwdriver. It's not going to be replacing something like a regular drill or an impactor. However, I will say that the torque that this actually provides is pretty good for, for this little screwdriver. We'll go into that a little bit later. What makes this a semi-automatic driver? Well, it's the action, and I use the term exactly how you think I'm going to use it, of, of changing the actual bits in the screwdriver itself. So if you can see here that the bit is pretty much in there, and you're like, well, how do you get it out? Basically, you pull back on here, the slide, and then you push forward, and then a new bit comes out. See that? And you just do that and the bits change. So if you think of it like a wheel gun, it's exactly the same principle, except instead of squeezing the trigger, you're actually racking the slide back. The other interesting thing is, if you want, all the bits are changeable, and they're those standard hex bits. So if you have ones that you like, ones that you use commonly all the time, you can replace them here, drop this back in, and you're good to go, and then it'll change just like, just like it was. So if you have common bits that you use daily, like for instance you use star bits, square bits, you don't like these uh, flatheads, you can change them to whatever ones you want. I'm actually a very big fan of keeping all the bits within the tool itself. For instance, I'll show you something else that I bought. And this actually goes to buying quality tools. I have this thing that I bought uh, a few years ago, let's say, and I used it maybe a few times because, you know, I don't do that much things that require regular screwdrivers in my house, but, you know, I do have it. It was like $20. I remember I bought it. The funny part is it doesn't work anymore, and it's fully charged. You can see that it's got, it's got charge in here. It just doesn't work anymore, but the thing I don't like about it is that the bit is pretty much you leave the bit in there all the time and if you want to have another bit you basically have to go find where you kept the bits and I'm not a fan of that especially when I want to pick up a tool and everything is ready to go but there you go let's talk about some quality real quick when I buy a product I expect it to work if I use it a couple times just leave it there this thing's all charged doesn't work terrible on the other hand you have a company like this works I know that people have works tools, they work for a very long time, in fact I haven't heard of anybody having a works tool that actually is broken yet, and I'm sure that if they have, the warranty pretty much covers it, right, so I'm not worried about that aspect. But you can also feel that the tool feels really hefty in your hands in a good way. It doesn't feel like cheap, it doesn't, doesn't feel like this, and it's not top heavy like this crappy one. It's actually well balanced, and I do like the action that this actually has. And I'm going to show you some additional things that the semi-automatic driver actually does compared to other tools. Before I do that, I will tell you that this came charged out of the box. So when I actually took the box, you saw the unboxing, right? And if you haven't, you don't really need to. I should have said this in the beginning. Basically, you get the tool itself, you get an AC adapter, and some literature and the warranty card and stuff. Yeah, they actually include a warranty card, which I think is funny these days. I don't think anybody fills those out. The instructions basically say, even though it's charged out of the actual box, what you should do is you should plug it in, and you'll see this red light right here. It'll turn green when it's fully charged. It says it takes about five hours to charge. 
and it takes pretty much that long because it has to fully charge up. So I would say that the first thing you should do is take it out of the box, fully charge it up, and then you should be good to go. I really have no idea how long this is supposed to last because basically in my use, I've never charged it. I mean, granted, I haven't used it that long, maybe an hour or an hour and a half at most, but any time that I notice that any tool will start to get a little slower, the, the actual torque becomes a little less, that's when it tells me I should really charge it up. Maybe not in this, this type of thing because it's basically an automatic screwdriver. It's not an impactor. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. What I mean that it's not an impactor, I will show you. First, I'll show you a drill. So this is a drill. You can see that it's much bigger. Battery is much bigger. Everything is much bigger. It's much heavier and it's bulkier. Drills are great. I, I, listen, I'm not a, <laughs> once you own a house or you do any kind of work, you realize that there's always a, the right tool for the job and you start accumulating tools. And having a regular screwdriver that you can just pick up and not have to twist your wrist and stuff is great. Because picking up something like an impactor all the time or a drill to actually do some minor screwing in and stuff is not really that great. And besides, half the time, a lot of these things lose their charge just because like I'm using them and I forget to charge them after doing like a bunch of work and that sucks. So that's why having multiple things is actually really good because then you don't have to worry about everything being totally discharged, which actually happened to me a couple of times. And it really sucks because then you have to wait an hour at least for everything to charge. I also have a regular chuck drill, which I didn't show you. So yes, I have a lot of tools that basically do all the same thing. Now, the interesting thing about something like this, which is an impactor, is it's really good for screwing things into wood, really hard wood too, because basically what, if you've never used an impactor, I'm not going to do it now because it's pretty loud, but you put a bit in here and then you when you're screwing in, it'll basically hammer as it's turning to really loosen up the screw so it actually goes in there a lot easier than you would suspect. It doesn't actually just use torque, it actually uses compression and forces to actually like dislodge the screw as it's going in so it's easier to actually screw into the wood. That's just an example of saying there is a tool for the job and there's always a right tool for the job. And when you have jobs that don't require that much power, something like this is really great. And another thing that I want to mention that I said that there was two types of models. Number one comes with this screw screw holder right here. And I'll show you this, there's a little release right here. So if you just push this, it comes out. And this is the other model. It does not have the screw holder. So let me just show you something real quick. That one's good. Now, let's just say you have this drywall screw right here and you want to put this right here. It's magnetic, it'll, it'll hold, but if it's going, up, oh, that sucks, right? That's where this thing comes in. So if I just put this back in here, it's all locked in there. Now, here's the cool part. So hold it like this, and if you see right here, these little teeth are gonna grab this screw. So I put the screw in here, and then these teeth hold the screw in. I mean, I don't really need to say anything. That's, <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't tell you how much better it is to not have to hold the screw when you're doing something like this. I mean, great idea. Works, great idea. Obviously, this type of device has forward and reverse, so forward and reverse, and you can actually lock it if in the center, it won't actually do anything. It's got an LED in the front, so as soon as you're using it, you can see that the LED is turning on right here. And that's basically most of the functionality of this. And the big thing to me is that all the bits are contained into here. And if you need to, you can actually replace the bits with any ones that you use. It holds six bits, easily changeable, just with racking the slide back and forth. I wanna show you exactly how much power this little device actually has. It's a four volt battery and you might be saying, okay, it's gonna do things like, you know, fixing some things in my cabinets and stuff like that. No. It's not just that weak. It's actually fairly powerful for this little diminutive size. So I have these drywall screws right here. They're meant to go into drywall and then into wood. But I decided to take a piece of wood, and it's a thick piece of wood, and drive a screw right into there. And it works, and I'll show you that. So 
when you're doing this, you have to be aware that this screw holder is going to stop the screw from like jostling a little bit. But if you're going to have to put a lot of force on, you're going to have to get, you have to still hold it. So I'm not going to put something, there's no pre, it's not pre-drilled, so I'm just going to go right into this piece of wood. Just make sure it's in forward. Get started. And if I could show you this, my get off. The first time I did this, it actually went all the way, all the way. But let me tell you something. For a little automatic screwdriver, that's pretty impressive going through this wood. Because the majority of times you're going to be doing is going to something pretty soft like this piece of drywall right here. And I can tell you this, that if it goes this far, if it goes this far into that piece of wood, it's going to be great for all the other stuff around your house. Especially dealing with things that you would do manually with your, with your wrist. The Works semi-automatic driver costs about $25 right now. And for $25, it's a pretty good price. And remember, Father's Day is coming up next week. Right there. $25. You can get something your father probably doesn't have, may not even need. But everybody needs a new tool. I can tell you that everybody needs a new tool. So there you go, $25. And let me tell you something about $25. This stupid thing that I bought a couple years ago was like $20, and it doesn't even work anymore. Buy something that's going to work for a long time. I know Works is a reputable company. $25 to me seems like a no-brainer, especially when you don't have something like this. Now, that being said, if you have things like an impactor, a drill kit that you use all the time, fine. Probably don't need something like this. But if you like something that you can just pick up, use, put back, not worry about it, remember, this type of battery is not going to self-charge, self-drain that easily. So that's the other cool thing about this. So if you leave this for six, eight months, a year, it should still be okay. ASC Labs and ASC Publishing would like to thank Works for sending this product for review. You can check out links below and on ASC Labs to purchase this product from places like Amazon right now. Again, it's $25. I think it's a good buy. Works is also sold at Home Depot. So if you wanted to actually check out this, hold it in your hand, try it out, go to Home Depot, play with it a while. You can decide for yourself if $25 is worth it. I think it is. For ASC Labs and ASC Publishing, I'm Aaron Schatz, and thank you for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button right below. You'll be informed of all the content as we post them. And remember, all we post are videos these days. That being said, if you did want to actually read something about any of the products that we actually review, go check out AC Labs. There's also a description in every review that we do, links to the text summary. You read that, you'll be informed, even without watching the video. And if you don't have time for watching these longer videos, there's a one minute review of every review that we do. You can check out the playlist on our channel. There's a link in the description below to every video to that stuff. So what are you waiting for? Start consuming all the content you want. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, leave us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Comments and criticisms, always welcome. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.